example, it's in your notes. We've got a flywheel. We're going to talk specifically about flywheels in a moment anyway. But let's look at this flywheel. It accelerates uniformly from 120 RPM to 200 RPM in five seconds. Calculate the angle acceleration of the flywheel and the angle turn three in radians. So we've got to extract the information. What do we know? So we know the initial what? Is that a velocity? 120 RPM? No. What does RPM stand for? Revs per minute. What do you think that's a unit of? No. 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 Nothing we've mentioned quite yet. Frequency. RPM is a unit of frequency. We know that F1, the initial frequency, is 120 RPM, revolutions per minute. And we know that F2 is 200 RPM. We also know that the time is five seconds. So our unit of time is seconds. So we've already got an inconsistently the frequencies in revolutions per minute. So what are we going to do with that information? Divide it by 60. Divide it by 60. <coughs> I can do that. Two. What are you are we going to measure in? Now I've got it in revolutions per second. What's another name for that? Cycles per hertz. Two hertz. Now I've got it in a, a unit that I can use. Two hertz. <coughs> Six is into twenty. Goes three and a third. That's rounded to two significant figures. So I'm after the angular acceleration at part A. So find alpha. Do I know a formula for alpha? So there's a formula, alpha equals omega 2 minus omega 1 over delta 2, but we don't know omega 2 and omega 1. Can we find them though? Yes, omega equals... Yeah, so I can use the formula, omega equals 2 pi f, so omega 1 is 2 pi f1 and omega 2, oh that, that was 2 wasn't it, and omega 1 is 2 pi f1, so I can find it. So let's have a look at this. Alpha equals, if I'd done it this way, look, 2 pi f2, because that's omega 2, is it not, minus 2 pi f1, because that's omega 1, over delta t, that might have helped me to simplify things a bit. What could I do? Think about what we were doing this morning, some of us. We were factorising. Does 2 pi come outside a bracket? Leaving what inside the bracket? F2 take away F1 over delta T. So alpha equals 2 pi 
times F2, which is 200, sorry, 2, that's uh, 3.3, I'll get it right in a minute, minus 2 over delta T, which is 5 seconds. So I could put that into the calculator in one hit and I would get the um, angular acceleration. What does it come out to be? I got 1.63. I like your uh, confidence. It might be a rounding issue, but that looks right. 1.63, if you rounded that to two significant, three significant figures, say so. Meters per second. Oh, that's wrong, isn't it? It's not meters per second squared, is it? What is it? Radians per second squared. Because we're talking about angular accelerations now, aren't we? Part B says, what's the angle turned through in radians? So what formula am I going to use for B? I want the theta now. Relevant formula. Can we find N? Can we find N, the number of turns? This thing is accelerating. How, what would we want to know about this motion to be able to use that formula? If it's starting at one in angular velocity and ending at another angular velocity, what would be a useful thing to know? Average. The average, good, especially as it's uniform. So if I worked out what the average uniform angular velocity was, from that, I could work out the frequency, which would be the number of revolutions per second. So that would give me n. Yeah, so I could do it that way. Is there another formula that might come useful? Looking at the equations of motion for angular velocity. Anything there that might be useful? What about this one? What is a half of omega 1 plus omega 2 another name for? Or omega 1 plus omega 2 over 2, what's that the same as? Howard. Omega 1 plus omega 2 over 2, I ask you because you mentioned it earlier. What am I finding out if I add them together and divide by 2? The average. The theta, in other words, is the average angular velocity times the time. So that's another formula I could use. A half omega 1 plus omega 2 times t. So let's use that. So theta equals a half omega 1 plus omega 2 times the time. We know omega 1, we know omega 2, and we know the time. So we can calculate theta. Omega 1 was uh, 2 pi. So in fact that 2 pi can come outside, but 2 pi times 3.3 plus 2 pi times 2 times the time, which is 5 seconds. But again, that 2 pi can come outside the bracket if you want. 2 pi over 2 is pi. 3.3 plus 2 is 5.3 times 5. So I can work out the feature, and that will be in radians. So, looking back, you're given a problem, same for both of these examples, you extract the information, often the information is this sort of thing. 
So I need to instantly recognise that that's a frequency in RPM, so I need to divide by 60 to get it in hertz, 2 hertz and 3.3 hertz. Uh, and then it's a case of identifying the formula that will help plugging the values in once I've got the units consistent and out comes the answer. No different to what we've done already. So I'll stop. I'll stop.